arpeggios. Um, you know, I've only had to play fast arpeggios of a three octave variety maybe twice in my whole life. And once was in the uh, Stokowski arrangement of the Bach Toccata and Fugue in D minor. You know, the. This is a big orchestral showcase. And at the end, the violas are flying up. Three octave arpeggios. And I remember the viola section in Vancouver when I was there kind of laughing uncontrollably because it was so impossible. It was really one of the only times I've had to play really fast three octave arpeggios in my life. Violists are called upon them to do typically in the repertoire arpeggios, but rarely with lightning speed unless you're doing violin transcriptions. So I think practicing them slowly and beautifully is more um, what we're required to do. So here we go. How about D major? <laughs> three on the top if you wish, especially if you've got um, short fingers, third fingers longer than the four. Notice I start shifting the moment I hit the pre-shift note. Let me put on a metronome so that we can kind of verify this somehow. We'll do E flat now. I'm going to just simply t try to time my arrival on the note after the shift to be with the beat. But it enables me to shift very slowly, which I love to do. Okay, um, how about F? Part of me tempted to go back and perfect the video, but maybe it's more instructive for you to see that I struggle with the same things that you struggle with. Um, the note that I played out of tune, if you were listening closely, was the one on the D string coming down. So, probably because I think I extended my third finger up for the high F. So I'm going to restore that first finger to health, intonational health. I'm going to sort of make baby steps and fill in the gaps. So. judging myself as hard as that is because I love to play in tune and I I love to hear myself play in tune and when I play out of tune I feel a little bad but I try to dull that um, so there you go those are the arpeggios and that's how you should play them for your scale exam